New Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, we have the Red Sox in October again, looking like they're going to reach another World Series. And what's the Yankees' answer? Re-signing Aaron Boone. Hey, they made me happy, though, getting rid of uh, Marcus Timms, as he likes to be called, Phil Nevin, who just uh, destroyed the Yankees' momentum in that one-game wild card. You know, if he made that mistake and he would have owned up to it, Yankees fans would have forgave him. But, um, yeah, his reaction, you know, getting that A-Rod, A-Rod who had the same opinions of the majority of Yankees fans out there, he didn't handle that situation well. Well, good riddance to uh, Marcus Timms and uh, Phil Nevin. But um, the real guy the Yankees needed to get rid of was Aaron Boone. And, you know, you got some players on the Yankees that could really use a manager, a real manager, that will light a fire under their asses. For an example, like Labor Torres, Gary Sanchez, and those guys are question marks. But in my honest opinion, you get a fiery guy in there as your manager, those are the kinds of players that could turn things around. But, unfortunately, the Yankees have a love fascination for Aaron Boone. You're asking why? Because the Yankees are operating like narcissists. The same kind of reaction Phil Nevin gave when he, uh, when a beat writer asked him a question about what did he think about Alex Rodriguez's comments about him, and his reaction was, Alex Rodriguez doesn't know what he's talking about, I did the right decision. It's the same way how this front office is operating. They're operating like narcissists. They don't admit when they're wrong. And Aaron Boone, everybody could agree with that, every Yankees fan out there, a large majority of you guys didn't want Aaron Boone back. It's the wrong decision. This team is not going to win a World Series championship with this guy managing your team. He, what I said in my previous videos, I said this guy's a paid psychiatrist. This guy's being paid to, uh, pamper these guys you see Alex Cora what he did to his picture last night Rodriguez he got angry at him and he doesn't care if the cameras are all up on his face he shows emotion he said yo Rodriguez what are you doing do not show up the Astros they're just going to use that against us you know similar to how Judge plays uh, New York New York with that godforsaken speaker. That speaker's cursed, by the way. Does Aaron Boone say, hey, you might not want to do that again. He's not that type of manager. He is a sissy. Period. Aaron Boone is not the guy that's going to bring you to the promised land. It's an ideology of narcissism. How doesn't want to admit he's wrong? Cashman is on his, is in the same boat as Aaron Boone. He doesn't want to admit he's wrong. And oops, they have their propaganda outlets in mainstream media like the Yes Network. We all knew it was coming. They put the talking points out there defending Boone. Oh, it's not Boone's fault. Hal Steinbrenner said it's the players' fault. But who gets the players, How? Huh? Yeah, it makes absolutely no sense. What is the love fascination for Aaron Boone? Again, it's because all of these guys are in the wrong and they want to stick with whatever the game plan they came up with. And at this point, they want to wish it into existence. You remember the baby bombers? Take the New York Knicks as an example. They have a whole bunch of young guys. They, they look like a killer team, by the way. I don't know if you guys are Knicks fans, but take them as an example. That is the supposed baby Yankees, the idea that the Yankees had, and it only lasted about, what, one year? This team has no idea what they're doing. One year they're saying, oh, it's the baby bombers, we're going to give uh, young guys the shot to shine. Look at all these prospects waiting for their chances. Where, where are they? Exactly. This organization has no idea what they're doing because their balls have been cut off. I know everybody brings up the boss. Yes, we miss him. We need that kind of leadership. Every franchise out there 
They're, they just laugh at the Yankees. Every fan base out there, they just laugh at the Yankees because this organization has become soft. And you have the perfect mascot out there for you. Aaron Boone, the definition of soft. This guy said an umpire bullied him. This guy always says the Yankees are turning the corner. This guy never gets at his players. And then another article came out saying that the Yankees want to get the Ying to Aaron Boone's Yang, that they need a bad cop coach out there to equal out Aaron Boone's softness. Hey, I got an idea. You shouldn't have brought back Aaron Boone if you're thinking like that. What a stupid organization. Pathetic. The laughing stock of Major League Baseball. Here we are, the Red Sox, potentially going to another World Series. And the Yankees, their response, bringing back Aaron Boone. The Yankees just want fans to just cut off their cable. What kind of business model is that? You already have disgruntled fans. You already have fans that say, hey, Red Sox fans are saying Yankees suck. Hey, I agree with them. They're doing us a favor. What? Uh, this is this is like a alternate dimension. This is like another universe that we're living in. Somebody flipped off a, a switch, and now the Yankees are, I, I don't know, they're not the Yankees that we remember. So there you go, Yankees fans. Uh, <laughs> the Yankees are bringing back Aaron Boone. I know you guys are going to have a lot of comments. Leave them in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time.